Alrighty, so today we're going to be tackling these drawers. Um, the side mount has broken on one of these uh, over on the right side over there. So I'm going to go through and pull this out and show you what came, what's wrong, and then hopefully we'll get these fixed today. Now one of the things I wanted to show too is how to get these drawers out because I've seen this comment a lot. Uh, people don't know how to get these drawers out. So let's go ahead and we'll slide it out. And it's going to come so far and stop. Now if you look right down here, there is a little black tab right there. And this one curves so that you'll put your finger on the top and press down on this. That's going to allow that this side to come out. Now there's one on the other side uh, as well just like this but it's curved the other way. You're going to lift up on it and press down on this and at the same time and when you do you'll feel it come out and you may have to jiggle just a little bit to get these things to come out but then that little latch allows you to pull the drawer completely out. Okay, so as you can see on this one right here, the whole thing is just sliding around. Uh, it's come loose again, and I'm going to put in more screws on this, and I'm going to get this sucker to stay for once. And then down here, we'll go ahead and take care of that area down there. Already got this thing taken out, got the drawers out, and um, this part right here, uh, which normally would go in there, it doesn't even stay any longer. It just falls out, so uh, I'm probably going to have to replace these. But I think you can see the issue up there. Um, oh, here, there we go. You see those nails, uh, puny little nails? They just nailed it into uh, that one board running right across the top. And I have put in two additional, maybe three additional screws on this top board to hold it in. Now this side over here has stayed pretty well, but it is running down at an angle. <laughs> it's running from the top and down this way so it's not even straight anyway uh, but this one there's no support under the bottom so your entire weight of the cabinet is uh, being held up just by those two screws up there now the way I'm uh, taking these wires out in here are those uh, little bits of uh, wire, uh, staples the little nails so I'm just using a wire cutter and going right up against the uh, as flush as I can get. I'll see if I can push them back a little bit, but there's no way I want to take this whole thing off because it's nailed in down there on the bottom too. So I'd have to pull it out as well down there and it seems to be staying. So I'm going to cut these off. Well, I'm going to see if I can get these corner braces in there. Maybe a little too long, but um, let's uh, we'll see if I can get one in there to hang on to that thing. All right, well, holding this uh, bracket up there, it looks like it's going to come right about where that screw is, right there. So I think I'll take this screw out and see if I can put this in and then into the board here. Okay, I took that screw out. The, uh, the thread was almost stripped, so it was hard getting out, but I'm gonna go in with another screw now so when I do, um, I want to make sure that it's going to go up in there far enough into the top so you can see how far I'm going to drill into the top of this to uh, hold that together. So let's try that. Okay, so I got those two in. These are really tight. I mean, this is going to hold a ton of stuff. Um, now I, I marked a couple of holes here with a pin. I'm going to drill a pilot hole, I think, and uh, hold this up here. And I need the back, back here where my finger is. That needs to be flush with the back 
this edge coming out on the other side. So that'll put it right where it needs to be. And I'm debating whether to use wood screws or go through with a bolt. I think I'll try wood screws. If that comes out, I'll do bolts later on to be continued, huh? Let's try that. Oh, by the way, drilling a little pilot hole into this wood to make these screws go in a little easier. This is a hard angle to work at. Now these, uh, the, the threads, the head on these screws, here's a Robertson I gotta use. Robertson head screwdriver. Be sure you got one. This one is reversible. It has flat head Phillips and Roberts head screws. Um, these threads, these some of these aluminum ones are worth crap. See how that wallered out. So I'll uh, figure out. Probably I'll use these size right here. I'll go in gently with them. Tighten them up easy, and let's see if that works. Okay, so I, I got that going. I got that in. That's solid as a rock now. I may tighten screws just a teeny bit, but that's going nowhere. So all the weight now is uh, hopefully well distributed. Uh, oh, this is that little, if you couldn't see, the little pin thing I was telling you about. Now I'm going to go through and tighten these up, put in more screws. This is a rubber head screw, by the way. It's got a distinctive square uh, thread to it, or a top, whatever. It's not a Phillips or a, a star or a uh, flathead. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to have to raise these up just a little bit to where they should be. Screw them in. And then I'm going to see if I can get this thing to go in stay right. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Maybe I don't need to buy a new set of those. But uh, we'll find out. Okay, so um, I tightened it up. I put in this bottom drawer and uh, something I noticed here is uh, there's a gap along here and it gets wider here. Even if I move, move everything over this way, if I move all this over so I don't think that's the issue. I don't think this is too far that way. Because even if I line it up perfectly and I get it shut from this side, that's closed all the way. I think this is warped right here. There's a gap right there. So impossible to put in. But uh, this one at least is working now and it clicks and latches pretty well. So I'm going to try putting the top one in even though I don't have that spacer um, to go up on top of this. I'm going to try putting in the top drawer and see if it works. And if it stays very well, I may not even bother buying a new set of these uh, rails. They're probably 20 bucks or more. Um, but if we have to go there, we will. Okay, well, it, it's closing fine. It's rolling well. It's still not perfect. <laughs> uh, you know what? The drawers work. So that's all I care about. We really don't care anything heavy in there anyway. It's always light stuff. Um, that little, this, this part right in here is flopping around in here because there's no little spacer on top. There's a little rubber thing that runs across the top to hold that in. But um, I threw it away, I guess. Wasn't real sure what it was, or I couldn't get it back in. So I'm going to call this good. It works. And when it falls apart next time, I may just go to a cabinet maker and have them do something for me. So anyway, uh, that, that probably took an hour, hour and a half. I wasn't in any rush. I was stopping to try to figure out how to do things. So I hope that helps. These are a pain in the butt to get in and out when you take these off. And it's even harder to get them back in. So once you take them out, guys, uh, do your work. Try to get it all done. Hope that helps.